Okay, so let's go ahead and put your math skills to work on solving this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the prompt to you. It is the following. Ann's phone and electric bill is $126. Her electric bill was 2.3 times her phone bill. How much was each individual bill? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through exactly how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time before I show you the answer, Anne has uh, her phone and electric bill. She opens it up and it's $126. Now that's the combined total amount for both of those bills when she opened up those bills she talented about. She's like, oh my goodness, I gotta pay $126 for my phone and electric. Her electric bill was 2.3 times her phone bill. How much was each individual bill? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The answer is the following. Her phone bill was approximately $38.18, and her electric bill is approximately $87.81, $87.81. So if you're pretty close to this, maybe plus or minus a penny, well, it indicates to me that you did this problem right. Okay, so we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face in A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a professional, a certified expert in solving basic math uh, word problems. Now, I'm going to be using algebra to solve this problem because algebra is such an awesome tool that it makes uh, solving word problems like this super easy. But I didn't uh, describe this problem as an algebra word problem because I didn't want to uh, discourage any of you out there that said, you know what, I can figure this out. And maybe you used another approach other than algebra and you still got the right answers. That is, that is fantastic. But uh, algebra is a tool, okay, helps us make uh, you know, problems like this, super easy. So let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. Okay, so again, you know, algebra is not the only way to solve this problem, but it's certainly the easiest way. And uh, what we have here, again, is a math word problem. So you're like, okay, I have a, a math problem here. It's kind of tangled up in all this kind of situation. So you always want to use uh, the rule of three, which is before you start doing anything, make sure you fully understand the problem and what the question is. So again, and uh, has her phone electric bill, it's $126. Her electric bill, okay, is was her electric bill or is her electric bill more than the phone bill? Well, let's just make sure we understand this. Her electric bill was 2.3 times her phone bill. Okay, so her electric bill is more expensive than her phone bill. Okay, so we have to make sure we understand the relationship. How much more expensive? Well, 2.3 times more expensive. And the objective here is to figure out how much each bill is. Now, to help decipher or um, figure out what the problem is uh, saying, uh, exactly saying, precisely saying, a great way to do this is to model the problem. Okay, so you can kind of see what's going on. And then from there, it's, uh, you know, much easier to devise a strategy to solve the problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So here, Let's suppose we have our two bills. Here is our phone bill. We don't know what this is, but we do know that the electric bill over here is gonna be 2.3 times whatever her phone bill is. And of course, we don't know what this is, but we do know that the sum total of both of these bills is $126. Okay, so that's basically what's going on here. But uh, you, know, you wanna kind of stand back and say, well, what can I do here? What can I, uh, you know, set up to figure this out? Well, again, algebra is a perfect uh, tool because anytime you are uh, looking for an unknown value, in other words, like how much something was, well, we can just kind of use a place value, i.e. a variable to represent that unknown amount. Now here, 
we have two unknown amounts, but all we need is really one unknown amount. For example, if we just let the variable X represent how much the phone bill uh, is, well, we know the electric bill is just going to be 2.3 times whatever this variable is over here is. So the electric bill will be 2.3X. And you can see here, we have the makings of a formula, x plus 2.3x is equal to 126. And of course, anytime we have a variable, like a variable x, we need an equation to solve for that variable. So let's go ahead and be precise about this. And we'll go ahead and say that um, the variable x equals the phone bill, okay, the cost of the phone bill uh, or the... Um, the actual amount. So going back up to our model, just so we're not confused or anything, well, okay, we'll go ahead and let x equal the phone bill. It's certainly easier to let the variable uh, uh, represent the phone bill and not the electric bill. And you could, right? You could be like, well, okay, x is equal to the electric bill. But if you're saying that, then we have to do some division to let uh, to figure out what the phone bill is. And we don't want to do that. We want to make it easier on ourselves. So remember, the phone, uh, the electric bill is going to be 2.3 times the phone bill. So we'll let the variable uh, X represent the phone bill. Okay, so if that's the case, then 2.3 X, which of course is the amount of the phone bill, is the electric bill. And here we have two um, expressions. This expression, or this variable expression, X, and 2.3 X, these are how much these two uh, individual individual bills cost. But of course, we don't know the exact amount, so we're going to have to figure out how to solve for those variables, which of course is constructing an equation. Okay, so here is the phone bill plus the electric bill. All right, so we'll put this right here. Phone bill plus the electric bill. We know the total is $126. All right, so what we need to do now is uh, uh, solve some solve this basic algebraic linear equation to solve for x. Remember, anytime you are um, using a variable to um, you know, solve a, a math problem, you have to, somewhere along the line, construct an equation to solve for that variable. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I want to interrupt this lovely math video if uh, it wasn't important enough for me to stop what we're doing uh, to get your support. I need your help so I can help others. And the only way I can continue to grow my YouTube channel is to have people like yourself say, you know what, this guy's not too bad. I'll go ahead and uh, subscribe to his channel. And if you're going to do that, make sure to hit that notification bell as well. Now, my objective, again, is to, well, one, you know, uh, be able to do various kind of entertaining math videos for those of you that might just be interested in math. But particularly, I'm trying to find people that are really struggling in math that could benefit from my decades of teaching mathematics. So this really does help me out. And if you do subscribe, I will look like this very much so. And let's get back to the problem. Okay, so the problem pretty is uh, pretty straightforward from this point. You have to have the ability to solve a basic linear equation. And if you're looking at um, this work, of course, I'll explain the steps here. And you're like, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. Well, I'm going to leave links to um, all my main courses in the description. Those would include pre-algebra, algebra 1, algebra 2. So if you're at some level of algebra, in other words, if you are a student, you can go through those particular courses. Now, if you are just somebody I like, you know what, I would like to kind of relearn some of this math that I forgot maybe 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago. If that's the case, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. It's a new course that I developed. And just very briefly, in it, I start off uh, with basic math, all that arithmetic that we all forgot back in our elementary and primary school days. And then I teach you a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, some basic trigonometry, and even some probability and statistics. It's a self-paced course, but it will teach you everything from basic math all through those other things that I mentioned. Okay, so here have uh, x plus 2.3x is equal to 126. So right here, we have to be clear that there is a one in front of this x. So these uh, two terms right here are like terms. We have x and x. So we can add one and 2.3. So one plus 2.3 is 3.3. So we have 3.3 x is equal to 126. So to solve for x, we're going to divide the equation, uh, both sides of the equation by 3.3. So we're going to take 126 divided by 3.3, and we're going to get approximately 3818.
Now, of course, I'm rounding off a bit, but that would be close enough. So that's what x is equal to. Now, oftentimes, students will get so excited. They'll be like, I did this. I, I solved the problem. And they'll stop here. And then they uh, turn in their work. And, you know, they'll get like, you know, some points taken off, like minus 10. And they'll be like, what's going on? I did this, right? Well, you didn't answer the question, right? we got to make sure that we answer the question. And the question is, is how much each bill you know, uh, was. How much was the phone bill? How much was the electric bill? So we have to go back to our setup here. So X was equal to 3818, but that represents the amount is $38.18. So remember, again, we, uh, we let X equal the phone bill. Okay, so the phone bill is $38.18. So the electric bill is going to be 2.3 times the phone bill. So in this case, it's going to be 2.3 times 38.18. So we could just do this math on our calculator, and that is 87.81, but that is in dollars, right? So the electric bill is in uh, $87.81. So to check this, we can just simply be like, all right, if I did this right, this total should be about $126. And of course, we can add both for these, 38.18 plus 87.81, and we get 125.99 which is pretty close to 126. Okay, so again, uh, algebra wasn't the only way to solve this problem. You could have taken different approaches, uh, you know, like trial and error, or just maybe some other creative approach. But algebra is an outstanding tool. It is, I mean, it just makes solving so many problems uh, much, much easier. But again, you know, I don't like to discourage anybody from solving any problem, okay? I don't say, hey, this is a calculus problem solving. No, if um, some of you out there, you know, see a, a different path forward or a creative path, that is fantastic. And that's the wonderful thing about math, that there's not just one way to solve any particular problem. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.